The plan is that, you know, all of us, you and me and everyone here, all the mamas and the daddies and the babies, all, everybody just pull up your big boy pants and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Senator, whoa. Oh, yes. Okay. That's right. That's right, John. I like to cuss now. Love it, believe it. Age is just a number, but so are polls. And in President Biden's case, both numbers are currently not ideal. But one of them could get better, probably not the age one, though we have our best scientists working on it. Here to talk about whether Biden is just old enough, please welcome, there's a big get, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren is here. <laughs> Senator Warren, thank you so much for being here. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, yes, y you know, you said uh, yes. The show is in Boston. And then, you know, I, I woke up in the cargo hold of your United flight bag in a big crate next to the dogs that, let's be real, nobody believes they're service animals, okay? <laughs> but, you know, I am delighted to be here with you, John. So, Senator, <laughs> I can't help noticing you've been a little quiet lately. Feels like we're having, we haven't seen too much of you. Everything oh. okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I am fantastic. John, you know, I just decided that I would keep it low-key this summer. You know, I've just been resting and recharging, gathering uh, support for my bill to crack down on money laundering in crypto, of course, and uh, calling for an investigation into Elon Musk's role in the Ukraine war. So just keeping it casual. Also, I introduced <laughs> the Digital Consumer Protection Act in my spare time while getting my steps in, which would create a new federal agency to reinforce regulations on big tech. And that's a low <laughs> and that's a low key summer for you. Oh, oh yeah, it's real low key. Well you know, regulating crypto is how I unwind. John, you know, I, you know I, can't, I can't get to sleep without collating my daily reports from the Security and Exchange Commissions, and you don't want to see me without my nightly 2.5. Yeah, I get that. We yeah. don't want to see you without that nightly oh, 2.5. Hours of sleep is what it meant. Oh, I see. Now I understand. You go by on 2.5 hours of sleep because you are powered by the work that you do. Uh, it's just energy and the people uh, in, in the fair city such as this one, the greatest city in the world. <laughs> oh. You do have an impressive amount of energy what? for a 74 year old. Oh, well, of course I have energy, John. You know, I'm a teenager in Senate years. Right, right, right. That's my mistake. I was counting in human years. Oh, it's completely different. People don't know. You know, my colleagues, they always razz me, you know. They're always saying, oh, oh, Liz, you wouldn't understand. You don't remember how it felt when Julius and Ethel Rosenberg were convicted, you know. Ha, ha, ha. Wow. So that's like an inside joke. That stinks. Yeah. Well, you know, and Chuck Grassley, he'll just come up to me and say, is General Douglas MacArthur running? And I'll say, what? And he'll say, well, then you better go catch him. And then, you know, he laughs until the cough set in and he has to go see the doctor. <laughs> well, as an up and coming 74 year old, how do you feel about President Biden running for a second term at 80? Oh, well, I'm so glad that you asked, John, because I have a plan for that. Of course you do. Of course you do. Well, let's hear it. Well, the plan is that, you know, all of us, you and me and everyone here, all the mamas and the daddies and the babies, all, everybody just pull up your big boy pants and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Senator, whoa. Oh, yes. Okay. That's right. That's right, John. I like to cuss now. So, moreover... I'd like to say enough is enough. This is just what's happening. This debate may have been productive a year ago when someone other than RFK Jr. could have thrown his tinfoil hat in the ring, but you know, we are past that point, John. No one else ran, no one. Well, there's Marianne Williamson. Well, exactly, there's no one else who ran. 
you know? The exit ramps are behind us. Okay, back in 2019, Democratic voters might have had a chance to choose anyone, anyone at all, John, you know? Could even have been someone on this stage right now. You know, imagine that, okay? Uh, just imagine a spry, alert septuagenarian who can stay upright on a bike and do the splits. You know, someone who could announce their candidacy right here on Love It or Leave It, but no, you know, that's not what we chose. So drink it in, America, all right? Reckon with your big structural change. Were the snake emojis worth it? You can do the... <laughs> You can do the splits? Oh, I can do things, John, that would really make you question your sexuality. Senator, please. Well, we have to get practical, you know? <laughs> it's time, John. Okay, okay. The future isn't written. Oh, I see. All right? You know, barring a change or a calamity not in our control, this old old man will be our nominee, but, you know, we can't keep wringing our hands about it. It's time to get behind him and support him in a tangible way so that he doesn't fall down. But can we, but can we acknowledge it's a real issue, right? Like, polls are showing growing concern about Biden's age. Well, sure they are, because that is Biden's biggest liability. This isn't new information. He didn't wake up old this week. But, but he did wake up, and we should celebrate that, right? On account of how old he is. That doesn't, that doesn't make me feel better necessarily. Well, it should. You know, one reason it's his biggest liability. Now, now listen to this. Joe Biden is a very good president. Okay, look, I know, I know. That's right. Now, I know the love it or leave it audience, and you were all very horny for me during that primary, but, and I appreciate that. Oh, oh, I appreciate it. But let's be honest, Biden went harder than any of us predicted, and he did it while seeming old and boring, you know? I say it, I'm Che Guevara. You know, Biden says it, it sounds moderate and sometimes a little racially insensitive. Yeah, you know, that, that John Wayne story was wild. Yeah. So we get to go into this election knowing our candidate's biggest liability, you know, and how the other side will weaponize it. We know this. Any other candidate would come with more unknowns and less predictable vulnerabilities. Maybe they get attacked you know, for being too young or too, you know, gay or in charge of transportation when all the trains just started jumping off the tracks like they were made of lava. But now you're, you're just describing Pete Buttigieg. No, don't you put words in my mouth, John Lovett. You know, I could be talking about any humorless gay transportation secretary from Indiana, you know? I gotta say it. I gotta say it, you're not smart for pointing out how old Biden is or that he could lose because of it. And it, we've just all seen that man try to put a jacket on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe, you know what you look good in? Vests. 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 Try vests. But you have no idea what shape some imaginary fantasy candidate would be in after six, six months of Trump nicknames and right-wing propaganda. You know. And John, I'm glad that you brought up fantasy. I don't think I did. Well, you, you ever notice that everyone is okay with old people when they are wizards? You know? <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone loves old people when they're wizards or Bernie Sanders. But maybe... <laughs> that's strange. I, I think that's, that's strange. Well, maybe, maybe it's this. Maybe we just need to remember that old people can still surprise us and not just by popping up behind us in a cemetery. You know? <laughs> yeah, I wish, I wish the stakes 
didn't feel so high. I wish that the extremism of the Republican Party didn't force us to narrow our tolerance for risk. And I wish Biden were younger and his age itself wasn't a risk. But as I always say, wishing won't bust trusts. I, I guess I say that. You always, you're always saying that. Trying to make it happen. So <laughs> let's worry less about proving how right we were if he loses office and way worry more about keeping his ancient ass in office. And Trump is old too. We can cancel this out. Even Trump gets this. When Trump was asked about Biden being too old, Trump said, uh, you know, some of the greatest world leaders have been in their 80s. I'm not anywhere very near 80, by the way, and Biden's not too old. I don't think Biden's too old. Why is his answer better than yours? Yes, well, I mean, for one reason, everyone in government, you know, is old, except for me. I'm a precocious teen. Uh, you know, and one day we should fix that, but not today. It's Biden 2024. Are you with me? Senator Elizabeth Warren, everybody. Yes, that's right. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Look right. at that. Look at Incredible. that. Incredible. I can get low. 74, you think everybody. Biden can get this low?